Hey guys, it's Padman from T Repat Talk. So today I'm gonna quickly give you a run through of the uh, Fun TV. All right, so you bought it online or bought it anywhere, you should get a box similar like this, pretty uh, standard. Uh, heart, paper box, and then you have the um, basic instructions here. Uh, let's see if we can read it. 2 gigahertz, 64 bit, blah blah blah. 1 gig RAM and 8 gig ROM. Uh, some stuff people don't really need 4k at 60 frame per second h265 wi-fi able to 11 ac so which is good and then you have a uh, hdmi 2.0 plus hdcp 2.2 chipset micro sd usb and all the other jazz most people don't gonna not gonna use it and then all right so let's open the box uh, so uh, since i already took it out it goes in like this and this it looked like this and then you have the remote and the um I think the remote will go under here. Yeah, one side for the remote. So the remote, uh, maybe not. Huh, maybe not. So maybe. So the bottom should have the um, power supply, and then that's that. And it comes with the uh, HDMI cable as well. Now the uh, let's look at the power supply here, um, which I found interesting is um. They give you a USB plug. This is rated as, uh, from what I remember, 5 volts. Yeah. 3.5 amp. 0.35 amp. No, 0.35 amp. And the output is 5 volt. 2000 milliamp. And what's interesting is, uh, same as the HTV5, they give you a crappy prong power cable prong let's see if i can zoom yeah so which i'm not a fan of because you know like these things break easily as, since they're made of china right so if you need to find a replacement like where can you find a uh, usb to a uh, power prong cable at your local store like I'm pretty sure tons of people can have like spare micro USB cables at home but don't know why they did that but one thing that I guess cancels that out is on they included a uh, port let's see if I can zoom in yeah this might be hard it's hard since it's black so well, let's just take my word for it so yeah right here USB, OTG USB. So supposedly, you can plug in the micro USB and then power this device on. Supposedly, I never tried it yet. And then you have the uh, 5 volt HDT, uh, HDMI, I don't know why they call it HDTV, Ethernet, and AVO. Now, for some, this might still be relevant. And USB, USB. Micro SD and the front does have a power cable that's clicky and that's the front of the TV the size wise for um, compared to other boxes the same same dimension almost the uh, physical look of the of the fun TV now there's also these this instruction manual which is all in chinese 
Now, if you cannot read Chinese, then you might be out of luck. Yeah, I think the box also is supposed to come with a uh, oh wait right here warranty guy warranty registration. So I don't know if anyone actually. Uh... Oh, interesting. So right here at the bottom it says. Let's try to zoom in. Uh, WeChat support. The name is Ubox TV 2. Now, I'm not sure if this is related to uh, Ubox. <laughs> Alright, so that's an interesting get discovery, but um, I, I don't think anyone I've actually found any uh, relation of, of that yet. But let's go to the, uh, the actual functionality of the box. So this is uh, the first uh, boot up, or initial boot up. Fun TV, fun anytime, anywhere. All right, so that's about 30 seconds maybe. No location access. Close. All right, guys. So let's go through the uh, Fun TV quickly here. So as you can see, there are um, four sections. Three, four. The main system, download, and settings. The different categories. So the main is where all the uh, apps is, are displayed. Now, at first, when you uh, download an app from their app store, it will just show up here. So there's no, you don't need to add it or customize it. It's pretty basic. And system, and these are the uh, built-in um, Android apps you would normally see. So um, you have like music player, browser, and other stuff. <laughs> And you could actually add these to the um, the main category. So move to app. So app is the main, <laughs> which I don't know why they don't rename it. But um, that's that. And to do that, in case you're wondering, is to press the uh, menu button. The menu button on the remote. And this option will show up and download it will launch the app store of the fun tv and setting is the i guess some of the shortcuts to the most frequently used um settings on here all right so that's the basic overview of the fun tv system now let's check out some of the apps now the official ones are the following, the live pleasing, the star video, morning star video, the Cantonese video, and good TV. Now, like there are extra ones, like third party ones, so the thousand station and I guess the karaoke one, that's standard on all the boxes I think all right so let's check out the live pleasing now um there are quite a few um live channel selection here um so I'll just s quickly scroll through the um each each um categories here. So we have the Cantonese one. Now I'll just try to load a channel. Now mind you, I'm loading uh loading the box on a Wi-Fi signal, so it might be a bit slower than than if you have a cable connected, but. But I would say the channel loads relatively quite fast. Now, 
yeah maybe like a few seconds all right so here's the mainland and then special channel <laughs> don't know what these are let's check it out american chinese station mm, no idea and then h265 now i suppose these are higher quality but as you probably know if you're gonna stream asian content the quality won't be that great anyway so and then sports and then Taiwan so one two three four five six seven seven two three four five six seven seven and a half pages of uh taiwan taiwan um channels and fun tv oh, okay so these are uh, english stations in uh asia so about five six pages of it and that's it that's all your uh, live channel section so based on what i've seen it's relatively the same as the htv selection now why i say that because um if i load up this uh, good tv app the layout is exactly the same as um the htv one so perhaps they're using just the same shell of the of the app and then they load different sources but or they might be using the same server altogether so i don't know about that that's just speculation that i have not yet digged into